Hi, everyone. Hello to whomever might be out there in Ethelan receiving this transmission. Um, this is my first experience within the world of social media. I've never done any of this before. Um, I don't think I've really ever felt any particular reason to until now. Um, yeah, now is the time to open up a dialogue as the, uh, the threat of this invisible enemy has already caused immeasurable tragedies and enormous damage to people's lives. Um, people are ill and without care. People are getting sick and fighting for breath. People are dying at frighteningly high rates. Many are unable to provide for their children and their families as a result of this hideous global pandemic. Um, some have lost their jobs, not only their jobs, but their only source of income, but uh, many have also lost their businesses that they've worked long and hard to maintain for many, many years, and some Far too many are living on the streets with no protection, no shelter, with no option of self-isolating at all. And so I feel we need to, to try to help each other throughout these dark times, these trying times for, for those we love, for, the, for our community, for ourselves, for the world and for the future. And I know for the moment it feels like both of our hands are tied behind our backs. And to some degree, they are. But our minds are unbound and our hearts are not chained. And we can care. And through caring, we will help each other and we will prevail. Caring is as close as the eye can see. It's right in front of you at all times, if you just have a look. So, if you don't mind, please bear with me, and I'll try and sum up just how I ended up <coughs> here, seemingly talking to myself, uh, but with the hopes of reaching out to as many of you who may be looking for other ways to pass the time with the cards we've all been dealt. Uh, so for those of you who can tolerate yet another message of goodwill, here we go. First and foremost, and above all else, stay safe, stay well, and stay inside your homes. We need to make the best use of this time by being close to those we love, and despite our dire circumstances. We cannot and must not succumb to shutting down and giving in to what feels like hellish quarantine monotony. We need to keep ourselves curious as uh, this time in isolation can be used for great learning. And remember that today is today and that's that, you know. There's gonna be no refunds given tomorrow for having missed today. Today ain't coming back. So we have a responsibility to each other to approach these times with new strategies. Create something. Create something today that will benefit yourselves and others tomorrow. Do anything you think could, could be of use to brighten someone's day. I can remember vividly, you know, when my kids were growing up, there were certain points when they'd come to me and they'd say, Dad, uh, hey man, I'm bored, I'm bored, you know. And my reaction was always the same. Boredom's not allowed, you're not allowed to be bored. There's always something to do, always.
draw, read, paint, think, learn, make a film with your phone, play an instrument if you play, if you don't, learn. If you don't have an instrument, make one. There are all kinds of things around your house that'll make noise. Just record those sounds that you discover and layer them and write yourself a song. It's really what music's all about, just making noises. I'm pissing the neighbors off, of course. Uh, make playlists and exchange them with others. Listen to new music, listen to old music. Listen to music that you're not familiar with, you know. Uh, my eternal weakness is old country blues, you know. Sunhouse, Buka White, Robert Johnson. That's my eternal weakness. Just stay busy in your minds. And we'll get through this thing. Anyway, before I wander and let you get back to your lives, there's something that my, uh, <clears throat> my dear friend and my brother, Jeff, and I would like to share with you. Um, over the last couple of years, I've had the incredible honor of recording an album with one of my all-time guitar heroes, Jeff Beck. Uh, so Jeff and I recorded this song last year or Oh, maybe a year and a half ago. Isolation, it's called. It's our take on a sublime John Lennon song. And Lennon's prophetic words are pure poetry. The profundity of his lyrics seem to Jeff and me especially fitting for what's happening right now. Songs about isolation, fear, and the ex existential risks to our world. So uh, we wanted to give a song to you and we truly both hope in our own little way it helps you get through these unusual times that we're experiencing, even if it just helps to pass the time as we endure isolation together. Um, I have hope that at some point very, very soon that you and yours will all be safe and surrounded in perfection. Thanks so much for taking the time to hear me out. Um, also, before I go, uh, on a more, I suppose, personal note, thank you all for your kindness, your unwavering support, and your strength over these years. I'm touched beyond words. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoy our version of John Lennon's Isolation. Thanks very much. Um, I reckon there's more to come. So uh, I'll see you down the road. Till then, stay well, stay well, huh? Bye-bye.